All right, so I got some recent pickups that I want to share that I've been jamming lately. Jamming the hell out of them. So first up, this is a record I kind of got swindled into buying. I, uh, I thought this was going to be a bootleg because the cover was pink on the website. And uh, when I got it, I got the red cover. Mayhem Death Crush. I was kind of pissed. And I was even more pissed that they packaged it poor. And it came all creased and shit. There you go. You can kind of see it. Yeah, it's one album. One of the albums I've been missing from Mayhem for a long time on vinyl. I've had this cassette bootleg for a hot minute, but... Yeah, I was really hoping to get a pink jacket, but oh well, here it is, in all of its glory, back cover, let me turn off my fucking TV, yeah, now you can really see the damage, because poor packaging, I mean, not packaging from the label from back on black but from the record store i ordered from out of fargo north dakota i'll just say that much and it's on black vinyl which i'm totally fine with i was actually wanting black vinyl for this album i don't really care for classics on color i much prefer them on black vinyl the way they were meant closest they can be to an original press i'm cool with uh, this is pretty close to a second pressing, or second pressing wasn't a gatefold, but, I mean, regardless, still really fucking cool, and this is a great, great album. Uh, Necrolust. That opening riff, so good. Then moving on, we got a record that quite a few people I know are gonna start showing. I don't even really keep up with the vinyl community anymore, to be honest, but I know that this one will be shown by anybody that's in a black metal. Uh, Lamp of Murmur, The Burning Spears of Crimson Agony. Uh, excellent raw black metal. It took me a minute to wrap my mind around this, but once when I did, I fell in love with it. Uh, extremely well written. This is some of the most well-written black metal I've heard since Vargrav's first album. Uh, this is just insanely well-written. The dude's a master songwriter. Uh, incredible shit, and I got it on red vinyl. I like the raw production of this album compared to the more clean production of the new album, but the new album is extremely, extremely good. Next up, we got another Lamp of Murmur. We have Submission and Slavery. This is another excellent slab of raw black metal. Um, good God. Once again, the songwriting on this is just second to none. Uh, much more than just your straightforward blasting whatever type of black metal. This is just extremely, extremely well thought out black metal. Um, black flooded interior. Comes with a uh, insert of him looking goofy as fuck. Especially on that picture. Extremely goofy, but hey... Who am I to judge? But this album is extremely good. Uh, and this is on Crystal Clear. Pretty heavyweight, too. It's probably one of the heaviest Crystal Clear records I have in my collection. So. Submission and Slavery from Lamp of Murmur. Definitely check these out. Definitely pick them up while you can. Because I know Lamp of Murmur shit 
sells out extremely quick. Glad I checked them out finally after all these years of hearing about them. Now, moving on, I talked about this band recently. I'm not going to take it out of the sleeve because there's nothing really to show with this. It's just a black vinyl. But, Knocklick. This is uh, Twin Pillars of Nocturnal Hatred. Put out by Liver Mortis. <coughs> and this thing is fucking awesome. This is what I imagine what trolls that are absolutely brain dead. If they were to make black metal in a cave, this is what it would sound like. It's just the most mindless, trollish, most unbelievably nocturnal black metal I've ever heard. It's so primitive. So primitive. It's caveman. Mindless. Uh, just incredible. This is a compilation of their self-titled demo, Knocklick, and uh, Second Ritual. Uh, this thing is just fucking awesome. Pick it up while you can. Love this. And same goes for this. Third Ritual. By Knocklick. This thing is fucking amazing. And I'll actually take this one out because this one has something cool with it. Uh, you don't really see labels like Liver Mortis do etchings very often, but they did for this. It's pretty fucking nice. But the music on this is just absolutely incredible. Just primitive, raw black metal with brilliant ambient passages. Uh, it's just extremely nocturnal, extremely primitive, brain dead black metal. And that is what I fucking love. I don't... Like, I love Lamp of Murmur for the songwriting because I appreciate it. But at the end of the day, I don't really want to be wowed all the time. 99% of the time, I just want my music to be brainless. And this is about as brainless as it gets. And I mean that in the highest compliment possible. Love this. Moving on, we got three records from one band. Let me put them in order. Not going to take this out because this is literally a fold over. Uh, Wodry of Milestein, 1 and 2. I finally got it. Uh, released by Liver Mortis in a fold over jacket. Uh, two LP set. This contains demos 1 and demos 2. Uh, well, demo 1 and demo 2. Uh, there's Raw and then there's Wodry of Milestein. Uh, Wodria Milestein. I, I, I know I'm saying the name wrong either way, but, um, yeah, there's Raw, and then there's this band, and holy hell, does it get Raw, and just when you think it can't get any more Raw, there's Raw Rehearsals. Finally got a vinyl press. Super stoked about this. Um, this is released by Legion Blowtown. Which is the band's label, I believe. And, uh, yeah, this is some top quality raw black metal. And I mean fucking raw. It does not get rawer than this, I swear to God. Uh, I can't imagine that it can. Not to my knowledge. You have to listen for the drums on this fucking thing. But, yeah, it's just a fold-over, but it's printed, which is nice. It actually came in a really nice plastic jacket, but I don't use... I don't... It would bother me to have a different type of sleeve on my shelf, so I put it in one of these. And I don't ever plan on selling it, so if it gets ringware, it gets ringware.
not the end of the world. But yeah, this is just some unreasonably raw black metal. Uh, I gotta be in the right mood for this one for sure. But when I am, it scratches the itch so, so, so nicely. And then last but not least, to complete up their collection, I got this. Whatever the fuck that says. Released by Liver Mortis. Just a great compilation. Features songs. Two new songs. Um, and the, what is it? Three, two songs from the Old Ways of Once, Old Ways Once More compilation released by Legion Blowtown, and then a song from the Black Silly Split. Uh, surprisingly, the first track on this is extremely well produced for this band, and honestly, you can hear the song better, and it's pretty nice because you can tell that they're actually really competent musicians. It's fucking awesome. But just some great primitive raw black metal. If you are into that sort of stuff, Odrim Milestein is for you. And that is it for this update. This is everything I've picked up recently. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh... That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.